Long story short, in September I broke up with my girlfriend because of the way she treated me and because she texted a guy that was flirting with her at work. He found her Instagram and gave her his number and she ended up texting him. She wasn't very flirtatious but he was and I asked her to cut it off multiple times but she didn't want to make any enemy co-workers at her new job. She eventually did and although she didn't cheat or flirt, the guy admitted to trying to get her to cheat on me. We had a discussion and I told her not to entertain guys flirting with her. Fast forward and I broke up with her. She wasn't treating me kindly. We didn't talk for two days and then she wanted to call me and explain we should try taking a break for two weeks instead. So we did. After the two weeks we got back together and had a discussion. She said when I broke up with her during the two days of no contact she called another guy, a different guy, that was a romantic interest a year prior and vented about me and our relationship and I see him as sort of a rebound but she blocked him because he wasn't me. She got better and changed though and has treated me more kindly so I thought everything was fine. Recently he just got a job at her work. She unblocked him and asked if he was working with her and he said yes. Last night, I asked her if he flirted with her, and she was all weird about the response and said, I don't know, but, and eventually said yes. Then she showed me her Instagram, and he requested to follow her. She said, what do you want me to do? I said, do what you want, because I'm not trying to be controlling, and I thought we already had this conversation. I asked her if she accepted his follow, and she said no. I looked on Instagram, and she lied to me, and now they both follow each other, and she probably accepted him. I need advice on what to do here. I'm really upset and I don't know if I'm getting mad about nothing or if this is a serious concern and I should talk to her again. My girlfriend of around two years and a few months has been with me. Since we first met at a party at university. Just one week after meeting her, she already moved in with me. It was love at first sight. Around a year ago, we moved into a new apartment, which I couldn't afford by myself and we lived there pretty happily ever since. Skip to last Monday, Christmas. We were at her father's place with all of her family. Things were fine until we drove home. She suddenly told me that she had enough of me being mean to her. The example she gave me was that I accidentally walked into her laptop's charging cable, which is white and which she spanned over a white carpet in a dimly lit room. I did not apologize for ripping it out of her laptop, but instead accused her why she placed the cable like that. After a few minutes, I did apologize, though. She also told me that she does not want to stop my dreams and aspirations. I would like to move to another country after I am done with university, but she does not. Then she told me that she wants a break from our relationship. I drove home and told her that being with her is my biggest goal in life and that I am sorry for having been mean to her and that I am willing to change, but she still wanted the break. That night, we still slept in the same bed but I cried myself to sleep. I really don't think that I have been that mean to her. I think the main problem is that around one year ago, I got a job at a university in cancer research. We are very successful at this, and we try to use a novel, highly successful approach. Because my father, who is my best friend, has cancer, I think I spent too much time at work and not with her. For the last few months, I sometimes went to university at around 8 a.m. and only came back at 11 p.m. for a week or so. She was alone at our home and probably very lonely. Anyway, on Tuesday, I wanted to visit my father. My girlfriend wanted to visit her mother, she told me. Her mother is on the way to my father, so I offered to give her a ride to there, but she declined. She did not come home that night and told me that she would like to sleep at her mother's place. The next day, she told me that she may not come home that night as well. I told her that was fine and that she can stay at her mom's place for as long as she likes. She did actually come home though, and we watched a movie together, but she was distracted by her phone which she looked at and which made her giggle from time to time. Only a few minutes ago, I found out that she did in fact not sleep at her mother's place, but instead went to some guy she knows from university. That night, we went to bed together, and I tried to approach her, but she distanced herself from me, so I only caressed her until she fell asleep. Now we are at what happened today. In the morning, I baked fresh buns just for her, but she told me she had a meeting with her sister and only took a few with her and left. I cleaned the house to make her feel happy when she came home, but at around 11 p.m., I was concerned and asked her mother if my girlfriend was still at her place because she would not answer me. Her mother told me that my girlfriend had not been at her place since we both left from there. She told me that maybe she was at some guy's place, let's call him L, because L and my girlfriend drank a coffee together a few weeks ago 
and she thought I knew about that. Just after the call, my girlfriend actually came home. I asked her who Elle is and she told me that she actually slept at his place last Monday. She only packed a brush and some other things and then wanted to leave again. I asked her where she wanted to go now and if they had been intimate together and she told me no and that she would go to her father's place now. I told her, if she leaves, then it is over. I still remember the dead eye she had. She did not care at all. It felt like all we had been through together suddenly did not matter to her. She just took her stuff and left. A minute later, I wanted to run after her, but she was already gone. I just don't know what to do now. I really loved her a lot. I cannot believe that this happened. I feel like my entire world falls apart. What should I do when she inadvertently comes back? We share an apartment together, after all, and most of the stuff here is hers. I neglected all my friends to only be with her. I feel like this is all my fault, because I did not give her enough affection. I already told her that I will reduce my workload, because I just finished my research, but even then, I don't know if I could ever trust her again. What should I do now? And how should I behave when she comes back? Is it too late to save our relationship now? I want to begin by saying that me and my GF are very much in love and have been dating for a year and a half. We've had our ups and downs, but I think we have a very stable relationship. For context, we'd already traveled during my vacation in early August and honestly, we both had a good time. The trip was amazing and we both have good memories from that vacation. Also in my country, we have a nice little holiday in early December when we both took the opportunity to have a mini trip where we had a good time. This year I have exceeded my yearly work goals and have been selected to receive a performance-based bonus. When I told my GF she was happy for me and congratulated me, she cooked me a nice dinner in my apartment. The thing is I will be leaving on vacation in January, which coincides with my birthday, and before I've heard the news of my bonus, told my GF that maybe we could visit all the beaches in the north of my country kinda like a road trip. We're entering summer here. She told me that we could organize the vacation later. When she heard the news from my bonus, she told me that maybe we can use that money to travel abroad instead of locally, and tried to convince me to buy the travel tickets. I replied to her, that sounds nice, but please let me think about it. One of my hobbies is gaming and building computers. I've been saving up some money to upgrade my components. And with the bonus that I've received from my work, I could honestly buy all the components I want and build myself a nice PC that could last me a bit of time. I think of this as rewarding myself for my hard work. The thing is my GF is a very sensitive person and doesn't like my gaming hobby. If I bluntly told her that I would like to use my bonus to purchase my components, she could take it the bad way, and the least I want is having a fight with her about this. So Reddit, how can I tell her that I want to use my bonus for my hobby without hurting her? I love her very much, and I would like to have a nice trip during my vacation with her, just not abroad at least for the moment. Additional information in case it matters. I live alone in my apartment, she lives with her parents, I'm currently employed in my field, I love my job. Sadly, my GF hasn't been able to find a job in a year since she was fired. My gaming and other hobbies don't interfere with the quality time that I spend with my GF. After four years together, my girlfriend cheated on me, and I don't know how to resolve it in my head. We have had problems, but we were slowly fixing them, or so I thought. We were set to move soon, and I thought that would be the start of a much better chapter of our lives for both of us. She had a long work trip coming up, and I sensed something off, so I asked if we were okay, and the floodgates opened. We sort of broke up for a minute, but came around over the next few days and thought we agreed that we would stick things out and try to rekindle things and restart when she got back from her trip, do therapy together and separately to help even. By broke up, I mean we talked about breaking up, and basically what I recall her saying was roughly, I don't know if we should stay together. But nothing definitive was said. Over later days, we talked about trying to work through things. We both had issues, but I made a commitment to her and myself that I would fix the things I could fix in myself and be a better boyfriend. I was never a bad one, I don't think, but I know my communication has always been a problem along with some other things. Things were rocky, as to be expected, but trending in a good direction, I thought. It was a long trip, but we communicated the whole time. It was spotty at times, but given where she was and what she was doing that wasn't all too surprising. It still hurt to not hear from her for a day or two at a time here or there. Things were feeling okay when she returned, still rocky, but that's not surprising. I asked her about Christmas gift ideas for her, and that's where it went to hell. 
I'll skip all the discussions and details there which were mostly rehashing things, but something that came up eventually was that she had met someone on an online learning group that she felt she had a connection with. She met up with him on her trip. I asked what happened between them. She said she wasn't comfortable talking about it. I pressed and asked if it was physical, and she nodded. I asked to what extent. And that's where I got stabbed in the heart. We had sex. She claims it wasn't planned, and that she would take it back if she could but also claims she didn't cheat because we weren't together while she was gone, but I thought we were. Either way, she had built a relationship with this person long before we broke up. I can't stop replaying this moment in my head. The nausea, the heart palpitations, the feeling of my heart being pulled out, like I'm falling. It just plays in my head over and over. I try, but I can hardly sleep or eat. The worst part is I still want to make it work. I still love her, and part of me hates myself for it. I offered to live separately for some time, do couples therapy, and try to restart. I asked for an answer by New Year. I have never cared or loved for someone the way I did about her. I never thought in a million years she would be capable of this. It is the absolute opposite of her normal self. I think her depression and other issues may have caused all this. She has relatively recently started medication for it. Is the medication bringing out who she really is or setting her off balance to where this is the result? She's been away for the holidays with family and comes back later today and said she wants to talk. I know what she's going to say, but the hope that I'm wrong just won't go away. I am so devastated to have to move to this new place alone when this was intended to be a huge improvement and step for us. What is wrong with me? What do I do? If she does want to work things out, how do I get over what happened? How do I get that moment to stop replaying in my head?